Welcome back everyone. So thousands of students in our area are now celebrating after finally graduating and receiving those degrees. But one thing could be putting a damper on this happy time. It's now time to start paying off that student debt. And according to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, students in the U.S. owe nearly, get this, $1.6 trillion. Mm -hmm. But having debt doesn't mean you are stuck. And here with tips to get our students through is financial expert Dan Hernandez. Hey, Dan, welcome back. Hey, good morning, Amanda. Nick, how you doing? Good. Doing great. First, can you just talk about student debt and a lot of students have it? Just tell us how this is impacting the economy. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it, it's been strangling, you know, new graduates for sure, because uh, you know, depending on on how much debt they have, I mean, kids are graduating with you know thirty, forty, eighty thousand dollars of of student loan debt, uh, and that's uh, you know, and that's a healthy payment. It's a payment they're going to have for years. So, so yeah, it's it's been an issue uh, for sure. So, you know, the last few years I've been working with a lot of my clients, adult children who uh, who are graduating from college. And I tell them, you know, you have to make a budget. I mean, that's the first thing. These are kids that until now maybe haven't been, you know, working uh, a lot, you know, and certainly, uh, you know, they're in college. So they graduate, they get they get a full time job. And now, uh, you know, real life kicks in. And, and part of that is is budgeting for your expenses. And, and generally the biggest expense they have at that point is their student loan. Right, and Dan, you have some tips to uh, help those grads start paying loans off. And basically, it all comes down to, as you mentioned here, uh, having a plan to pay back that loan. So a, ro a loan repayment plan, if you will. Yeah, I mean, look, you, you graduate and, and you, you have your first job, you're making money, and it's, it's easy to fall into that trap. Yeah, I want a new car. You know, these are the things I want. I've been, I've been waiting to graduate, and I want, a, I want a new car. I want a new place. And certainly... You know that you worked hard, and and you should get that. But you have to make uh, reducing debt uh, a priority, and that's for college graduates. That's for for all of us. But you know, college grads have that college loan debt, so they have to budget that in uh, almost before you know they start uh, you know enjoying other stuff like sure. a new car. Yeah. So you talked about that repayment plan, but you also are telling folks that they need to set a monthly budget. How can they do that? Well, I mean, you have to, you know, you have to start with the necessities and, and that's, you know, right now what you have to do is student loan. And then the other thing you have to do is, you know, you need a place to live. So we try to keep uh, that rent, that mortgage, whatever the case may be to maybe about 30% of their of their income uh, so you you set that budget and you take care of the necessities you know living expense you know debts that you have to repay and, and you work and you work backwards from there but you have to you have to budget it in because it's not going to just happen magically Dan we've had you on the show uh, several times and obviously one of the things that you kind of uh, emphasize whatever it is when it comes to money is having some emergency savings now for someone starting out uh, this is pretty daunting because you're asking folks you know we're trying to pay down that uh the student lo loans we're trying to set up that budget you got so many other expenses but it's still very important to try to create an emergency savings account as well yeah i tell people and again uh all, all my clients regardless of of how old they are but specifically important for college grads recent college grads you have to Pay yourself first. So make saving money, whether it's for an emergency fund, whether it's creating uh, your your retirement account. And there's certainly savings in between emergency fund and retirement account. You could save, you know, to buy a house. You could save to buy a car. So you have to create these savings accounts and and make them part of your budget. Like I said, before you start spending money on fun stuff, pay yourself first. And and it can be small increments. You know, I'm going to save fifty dollars a month, hundred dollars a month, to create my emergency fund. You know, if the last fifteen months, eighteen months has shown us anything, is that uh, none of us have a lot of job certainty and job security, and you need an emergency fund. Uh, and and recent college grads entering, you know, an uncertain job market need that as well, and, and probably need it as much as anybody. 
Very good advice, yeah. Yeah, so emergency fund, but also retirement. And students who just recently graduated are probably thinking, why the heck do I need to think about retirement? But tell them why that's important. Yeah, I mean, look, depending on, on your job, especially, again, the last few years, companies have cut back. When companies come into financial hardship, you know, one of the first things to go is their contribution to a retirement plan, which means as as individuals, our retirement is more on us and less, uh, you know, less from the company and potentially, you know, Social Security, uh, well, I don't think it's going to go away, is going to continue to change. And, and by change, I mean, it, we're all going to be older and older to, you know, to collect. They keep pushing the age back. So, so retiring is a is a burden that's more on us and we can't shift it to our employer. We can't shift it to the government. We have to take care of ourselves. So, you know, time, uh, time is what's on their side. You know, you yes. start saving at the age of 24, 25, you know, you don't have to save a lot of money. You just start saving something, and it's going to add up. Yeah, the earlier you start saving, the better off you you will be. And the last one uh, you have on there is really start saving for another goal. We're running out of time, Dan, but uh, saving for your other goals later. And uh, where can people go get more information as well? My email is D Hernandez. My first initial last name D Hernandez at Lincoln Investment ending in T dot com. All right, Dan. Feel thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys.